What if you could add graphic overlays to your Zoom calls, like this one? Or this one? I have an idea! And your lower third graphic overlay. If you know my channel, you know that I love OBS Studio and that I've been using it for this purpose. Today I'm going to take it one step further and show you how to use a plugin that will make your life much easier. You may be wondering, how is this different from what I'm doing today? Well, what you're probably doing is to create a scene and then add overlays and then toggle the show hide icon to make them pop. But what if you need to use the different overlays on different scenes? Well, yeah, you can just copy and paste the reference in each scene. But here I'm talking about something next level. With this plugin you can use an overlay no matter what scene you're on. So let's say you're sharing your camera or maybe sharing your screen. And then something unplanned happens. If you had to go look for the right scene and then switch to that scene and then activate the overlay, it's doable but you would miss the moment. If instead you have one hotkey that you can press, even better if you're on a stream deck, then this would make things much easier. Great idea, right? So let's go do it! If you're not familiar with OBS or you're just starting, then I suggest you go to my website. There you'll find my Remote Presentation Hero course. The lessons covered in the introduction to OBS are previewable for free. There you'll learn all the basics on OBS that will allow you to follow all the steps in this video. The OBS plugin we have to install is called Downstream Keyer. The link in the description will take you straight to the download page. Here click on Download and choose the correct file for your operating system. I'm on Windows and I'll download the installer. Extract the zip folder and then double click on the installer. Once you've installed the plugin, restart your OBS and then go to Docs. If everything went correctly, then you should find it in the list here. Click on Downstream here. Now here you'll see one empty tab. My dock is different just because I've already added the overlays. So let's do it together from scratch. I will add a new tab and the name that OBS is proposing is DSK1, which is probably the name that you're seeing. Now this tab is empty like yours and we have to populate it with your overlays. To do that, you have to create one scene for each of the overlays that you intend to use. I've already done it for Love Confetti, the Hype Confetti, Gold Confetti, and Falling Dollars. If you're finding this video useful, please subscribe to my channel to help me grow it and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch this video. Thank you. So let's say I want to add the Love Confetti. I just click on it and then click on plus. And the Love Confetti overlay is in the downstream keyer. Let me do the same for the Hype Confetti, for the Gold Confetti, and for the Fallen Dollars. The only thing that we've left to do is to associate one hotkey to each overlay. So let's go to File, Settings, Hotkeys, and now let's look for Love Confetti. Here it is. Just be careful with one thing. You don't want to set the hotkey for the source in the scene here. Instead, your hotkey will have to be set for Show on DSK1 and Hide on DSK1, where DSK1 is the name of the tab. So I'll set it to Alt-C and the same Alt-C as Show and Hide. And let me do the same for the Hype Confetti overlay. Again, not Show or Hide the source, but show and hide on DSK1. And here I'll assign Alt X and Alt X. Okay, let's try it. So Alt C and the Love Confet is there and Alt X. The beauty of this plugin is that these overlays work with any scene, meaning that you don't have to place the overlay on each scene, but instead it will play on top of the scene no matter which scene is active. So if I'm on this scene where the camera is not connected yet, I type Alt C, the overlay will play. And the same here. And if you have a Stream Deck, things can be so much easier. You can add the shortcuts to your Stream Deck keys and by pressing them, you'll activate the overlays or a lower third like this. Easy, isn't it?
Great! Now you know how to put graphic overlays on your Zoom calls. The next step is to take the messages from the chat and display them as overlay on your Zoom video. You can use this to drive engaging icebreakers or brainstorming sessions. Or what I like the most is to spice up your video call Q&As. What you have to do simply is to watch this next video here.